Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is how to build a GX160R. I have everything in front of me to reinstall these valves, including some fresh 22s. I get those to the side so we don't make a mistake, and we're going to start by lapping these things in intake and exhaust it doesn't take a lot of grinding compound that's probably actually too much I'm just using a fine grade I took a tissue and wiped off the valve stem itself I made sure that it was completely clean I'm now going to oil the stem and then place it down inside the guide making sure that I don't get any of that grinding compound on it while I'm doing so. I'll show you how I do one of these. Oil on the stem, so like I said, now I'll carefully place it into the guide and slide it down in. making sure that there's no grinding compound on the stem because if that gets down inside your guide and you start lapping you're going to ming it up quick I'm going to lick the suction cup stick it down on top of my valve and I'm going to twist back and forth A little to the left, a little to the right. I'll lift it up. I'll place it back down. I'll do it again. You hear it grinding? I'm just twisting until that grinding noise is just uniform and smooth. It just sounds like two surfaces rubbing together, not grinding. One more time, lift it up, place it down, lap it in. I'm not pushing down, well not hard, I'm just using enough even pressure to make the thing twist. Now I'll just go one direction here, oh yeah she sounds smooth. what you want. If you accidentally lift it up, either pull it out or drop it down and finish the job again. This one's done. I'll do the exhaust side and then clean everything up, including the valves. I have everything thoroughly cleaned. I'm now going to perform a single grind on both the intake and exhaust. What that means is I'm going to drop it down, grind it, and once it's smooth, I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave it right where it's at, and then I'll take the whole head and I'll soak it in some super clean. and then soap and water. not lifting up at all just running out whatever compound is there there's one and 
Now I'll do the exhaust. These valves were already done before, so this is probably overkill, but I wanted to show you how I do it, just like they were new. It's not going to hurt them. We're going to get a real good seal is what we're going to get. All right. All set. Clean this thing off. We might as well take a look at my handiwork before I get these installed. You can see the nice even grind lines all the way around these valves. Those now mate perfectly to these seats. That's exactly what you want. These billet split retainers aren't the hardest and they're not the easiest with the 22s eh, not that bad I was able to do them with my thumbs I just do one of the retainers at a time that's what works for me now that these valves are installed we're going to get a spark plug in there and we're gonna to try to find out what the volume of this combustion chamber is this big glorious son of a gun is a fluid transfer syringe a milliliter is the same as a cc originally this thing was 14 it looks like that line is 15 so I'll fill it to 15 and then see how much we can fit in the chamber. Pull it up. It's okay if you go a little bit over. There's an air bubble inside. Now we'll bring it to 15. Okay. Oop, looks like I went just shy. That's all right. I think we're just shy. Yeah, I'd say we're right there. The reason I'm checking this is in case we milled too much, we would know by the CC of the chamber. If it was like 12, we might have a problem where we're right around that 14. I think we're good to go. I'm going to let this sit and let's see if it leaks down into the intake or exhaust. I'm not seeing any air bubbles. That's a good sign. Give that about 15 minutes. Time has passed. We'll take a look. We're dry on the exhaust port. And we're looking dry over on the intake. Now I'll put down a dry tissue. I'll place the head right on top and I'm going to fill the ports 
so that we can check them from the back side. gravity do its thing and we'll see if the valves are still holding water now I'll carefully move the head to the side so they don't spill the water on the tissue dry as can be Now we just have to install these rockers and push rods, which is going to be a whole lot easier with the head torqued down onto the block. That ought to go without a hitch. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. I want you to stay here.